Buongiorno friends! Today we are in Arezzo. I've never been here before, neither has my mom. We're just here for the day. We're gonna explore. We don't have any plans. We didn't buy tickets to museums or anything. And my mom's favorite thing to do is just to go inside churches. And if you follow my channel, you know that I love going in churches as well. So we are here at our first stop for the morning. Welcome to the vlog and let's explore Arezzo together. Church of Sant'Agostino. It started being built in 1257. I honestly didn't stay too long inside this church because there was a man in here trying to pray and my shoes were squeaking so loud and I felt really disrespectful so I left. But apparently in 1510 Martin Luther stopped inside this church on his way to Rome. The next church we wanted to see was the Basilica of San Francesco. If you actually want to go inside, you have to pay for a ticket, and I'm cheap, so just popping my head inside the entrance was enough for me. It's famous for a cycle of frescoes by Piero della Francesca on the walls of the main chapel, and they were painted between 1453 and 1464. Today this basilica is also a state museum. Two minutes down the street from here is the Abbey of Saints Flora e Lucilla. This church was so cool, like literally. Stepping inside it felt like there was air conditioning. I was the only one in here too. It's a medieval abbey and the construction of the church began in 1278. walked toward the main piazza here, Piazza Grande, and we unintentionally came up to the next church we wanted to visit, Santa Maria della Pieve. This church has been documented since as early as the year 1008. The facade of the church is amazing, and what we see today was all added in the 12th century. So we've been in about a hundred churches already and we're coming around the corner to Piazza Grande, the main piazza here in Arezzo and it's almost lunchtime so we're gonna find something to take on a picnic. We are here in Piazza Grande. Looks like they're setting up for some big event this weekend. Maybe jousting or something?
came to this nearby park to cool off. It's about midday. It's actually just 12 o'clock. The church bells were ringing. We wanted to find some lunch and bring it here and have a picnic, but we can't. We couldn't really find any like to-go restaurant, so we'll get something in a little bit. But while we're sitting here, I wanted to share some quick facts about this town, Arezzo. Arezzo is the hometown to many famous artists and sculptors like Francesco Petrarca, Michelangelo, Luca Signorelli, and many others. Arezzo hosts Italy's largest antique market. So we were right that in Piazza Grande there is a festival this weekend. It's called the Saracen Jousting Festival and it happens twice a year. It's a medieval historical reenactment festival and it's going on the third Saturday in June and the first Sunday of September. This cathedral right behind us, that's the Duomo of Arezzo and it was built from 1278 to 1511. The interior of it is in a Gothic style and they have Renaissance stained glass. It became famous because of a fresco, the Santa Maria Maddalena by Piero della Francesca. We're gonna go inside in just a minute and I'll show you some of that church. And another fact about Arezzo is that the movie Life is Beautiful or La Vita è Bella was filmed right here in Piazza Grande and in other parts of the city. And mom and I watched that movie last night because we found out that it was filmed here. just got done flying the drone again. I get so nervous because I just worry about so many things like someone's gonna yell at me or I'm gonna crash it into the building or get it stuck in a tree or something. <laughs> but I bet I'll get more confident the more that I do it. But we're gonna go find something to eat because I'm hungry. It is hot today. So hot and sweaty. <laughs> we froze these giant water bottles last night to have cold water. It's already melted. <laughs> it's like 95 degrees today. Whew. So this is the Cathedral of Arezzo, or the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Donato. It's located on the top of the hill of the city, and it's on top of the site of an early Christian church. And also, this is probably the place where the city Acropolis once stood. The works for this church started in 1278. This is the third bell tower built for this cathedral. In the beginning, the bell tower was built together with the cathedral, but the vibrations of the bells damaged the stained glass windows. Those windows were rebuilt after the original ones were lost during the Second World War due to the displacement of air caused by a bomb. This is the Ark of San Donato, built in 1362. It was built in memory of San Donato Bishop, a martyr who died in Arezzo in 363, and he is the patron saint of the city. There is also a beautiful and noteworthy side chapel. going inside churches in Italy because usually they are free to enter. I love free things to do and also in the summertime usually they're nice and cool because they're made of all this stone and marble so it's like there's air conditioning inside. <laughs> it's nice to sit down and take a break in a cool shady place when it's so hot. <laughs> Because I've never traveled around in Italy with a dog before, 
I'm assuming you're not allowed to bring dogs inside churches with you, so I mean, maybe you can, I just don't know, and I would rather err on the side of caution and be more respectful rather than just bringing my dog inside a, a church. Um, so we're taking turns. One of us is sitting in the shade with the dog while the other one explores the church. So taking a bit extra time at each stop, but that's okay because it's, it's seriously hot today. <laughs> After exploring all the churches and wandering around the city, we got some sushi for lunch and went home early. Let's just say sushi was a bad choice. We really are not used to this kind of heat, so we weren't feeling too good at this point and decided we should get home and rehydrate. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for next week as we explore some more of Tuscany and maybe even Umbria. Ciao, friend!